Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We uh we we gonna start this. Uh we we talked about chapter six, uh, you know, I'm full. You know, it was a question that was asked me uh last week. You know, where is the folks that have died, Old Testament saints, and uh where are we in terms of uh, the, the saints when they die? They said, well, they, are they still in that portion, portion of Hades? You know, there's a lot of stuff that's going around. We got, and the, the, today we're going to talk about the 144,000. You know, Jehovah's Witness said there's 144,000. But we, we, you know, I, I, they, I, I listen to them. And um, it's a lot of heresy and there's a lot of stuff that's out here that we need to, you know, really just let the word um, decide for you whether somebody is correct or not. And then don't argue and fuss and fight with, you know, discuss it and say, okay, this is my revelation of the 140. No, that's the God guide your revelation. And then the, the brother, the Haiti thing, we, I mean, he got so upset uh, when I tried to point out some uh, Paul said to be absent from the body is to be, you know, the cross is that, you know, that was you and Jesus talking about, you know, he went down to Hades and he preached it. And then Peter even, you know, he talks about it. But you got to understand the, the, the absence of the body is to be present with the Lord. Where's the Lord? I always say, where's the Lord? Is the Lord in Hades right now? You know, then saw, uh, now you're looking at tribulation saints, you know, you know, and we, and when you look at chapter seven, we're going to go over the review just briefly, chapter six dealt with and um, the the seals. They get ready. We went through six seals last week, and now we're going to chapter seven. You get a pause and look. We it's, it's not in chronological order, so you know you're going to see some other saints that uh, came out of the tribulation, and you're going to see the God's you don't see God's purpose in all this, and we're going to talk about all this because it. Revelation is very important, and I don't know why people don't read it just to ask the question. You know, especially saints. You can have the, the well, one, one brother put it, he said the heart and the head is about 18 inches from one another, uh, but it's, it's, it's almost, it, it could be miles away. You can have head knowledge and, and not have revel revelatory knowledge of something. And then you, you can be so strong in your opinion, that it's in it, even if it's wrong. So that's what it is. If it's not based on a word, if it's not the word, then say it. Where's the word in all of this? Oh, tell me, where's the word? Where's the word in all this? Show me the word, and then let's discuss that piece. But show me the word first, and then let's and let's look at other areas of the word to get the greater revelation. So we gonna that's what we're gonna try to do today. We're gonna talk about chapter 744,000. We're gonna talk about some other stuff too. But God is good. I'm telling you, God is good. So let's say, first of all, let me pray. Heavenly Father, uh, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. You said with all getting, get understanding. And we thank you for who you are. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for every listener that's going to listen to this, this um, reading and, and hopefully a little bit of commentary at the end and get a full vision of who you are. That's the, the whole purpose of, of reading your word is just to, to, to know you. The power of Paul said, the power of your resurrection. I, I want to get to know your power, your resurrection and uh, the cross. And that's what we're trying to do here. And I uh, thank you for saving me over 30 years ago, uh, born again and, and loving you, getting deeper and deeper each and every day. <laughs> things are driving out. I'm, I'm not still doing that stupid stuff, but, but Lord, I thank you for God. I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for, I thank you for all the things that uh, you have taught me through your ministries, through your fine and excellent people that's out here. Uh, that's, that's preaching and teaching your word every day. And I give you all the praise in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. We get ready. Let's start it because we got a stuff. We got some stuff. We got it. Let's share our screen. Okay. Okay, we shared our screen. And we now have to uh we like we started at the beginning all the way in the beginning God Almighty, you know. That that's where we can stop right there in the beginning God, the Almighty Jesus. 
in the beginning, God. They say Genesis 1, and then go John. I always show you scripture. So you, you, you don't believe me. Just go back to scripture and let it read it. You know, the word was made flesh and dwells. We can read that. That's the verse 14. I'm going to start inserting in there. And they dwelled among us. He said, the book of Revelation is an unveiling of God's blessing. It's real. It's the unveiling, a revealing of who Joshua, I say Jesus. A lot of folks, oh, he's Joshua. There's no J. There's no J in the Hebrew. Oh, well, listen to me. He revealed himself to me as Jesus. Yahshua. Jesus, he might reveal you, Yahshua. Yahshua, I believe it. It's Joshua, it's you, uh, Joshua, you know, it's, it's okay. The great I am, let's agree on that. He's, he's Yahshua, he's Jesus, okay? Let's just let's, let's agree for this purpose of this reading, okay? The, the book of Revelation purpose is to, yeah, it's to encourage the believers, revealing of the Christ Almighty Jesus, uh, the revealing of future and literal prophetic events, the blessings of Christ Jesus. The suffering question is answered. Uh, the key, okay, the key in times of suffering is faith and uh, the knowing that the pain and suffering have is have an expiration date. We know you're suffering. And now we're going we gonna to go back. We're going to change this right here. So now we're on chapter seven. We're still dealing with the tribulation. But now we're going to look at a pause in the cause. God want to show you something before you really good. continue on. And we're going to go back at the end of this. We're going to go back and we're going to try to uh, sum up, you know, you know, chapter six is chapter six. We already, and then we go to chapter seven. We're going to look at those tribes even again. I want, I really want you to understand the Genesis, the Ezekiel's and the tribulation. Okay. The revelation. Okay. So you can get a full revelation of who these 144 and somebody come to you and talk to you about, oh, the 144. I want you to be respectful, but understand they are not the Jehovah Witness folk. You know, the folks that's running around America and these 8.4 million people, that, that's not who uh, these 40, 144 folks are. I know you, I know they say they are, just be respectful to them, but that's not them. Okay. Uh, but we're going to reveal who they are in Revelation. That's what it's called, Revelation, to reveal, you know, <laughs> Jesus Christ, and he's going to tell you. Uh, through his ministry, through the through, through the ministry of the work. Now we got two. John is saying, "Hey, I saw and I beheld." That's two visions. <laughs> so we gonna we gonna we gonna look at that through the reading and see if we can get the same. Say we do we should, but uh, some people won't. They would dispute. And John said, "After this, I saw. After this, I saw. After this, after this, I saw." He said, four angels stationed at the four corners. Angels stationed at the four corners of the earth." Angels, messengers of God, stationed at the four corners of the earth, firmly holding the back of the four winds. Winds, in this case, can judgments, holding back the judgments, holding back the calamities that's getting ready to go on the earth. Okay. Okay. He'll get they hit they, they ready. You know, that's one thing about the angels. They ready. Say no wind, so so that no wind should blow on the earth. You say wind, no judgment of calamities should blow on the earth or the sea or upon any tree. Okay. Any tree. Now you get spiritual and say, well, tree, tree, we're trees of righteousness, you know. Yeah, that's the spiritual. We're trees of righteousness. Like Jesus said, you can eat, you eat my body, drink my blood. They thought they, he was cannibal, cannibalizing. No, he's saying this, my, the word I speak is spirit. Okay. But then I saw, I'm saying he's saying that no wind can blow on the earth. See, or any tree. Then I saw the second, I uh, saw a second angel. It's a rank order. You know, go on Ephesians, it's rank. Power, you know, it, it, everything has ranks. He, this, look, I saw a second angel. People thought this, uh, the second angel was Jesus coming up from the east, the rising of the sun. Okay. They think it's Jesus. They think it's the lamb. You know, let's see. He said, he said a second angel. Second angel. Jesus already told you who he is. From the east, so it's a ranking of arch archangels, which have more power than some of the other angels. But these had, you know, he's carrying a seal, seal, you know, seal, seal means it's a proven. He's carrying a seal of the living God, ownership, 
when God seals, seals the day of the Ephesians, I think it's 113, 113 uh, chapter 1, verse 3. He seals you to the day of redemption. He, it's your ownership. He owns you. Okay? He seals you to the day of redemption. Now, he said, carrying the seal of the living God, Almighty Jesus, that's me, putting that italicized in there. Okay? And a loud voice, he called out of the four uh, called out to the four angels, giving the, the who had been giving authority and power to injure earth and sea. So these four angels were given authority to injure, saying harm, harm not, okay? Harm neither the earth, the sea. They going to do it, but they get given authority, but or the trees. Until I have sealed my bond servants. Okay. Now, now we're going to get into that. Until I have sealed, you know, this is, you know, we had, okay. We haven't gotten to the seventh seal yet. That gets in the eighth chapter. Okay. This is out of Chronicle. He's getting, he's getting some instruction. He's struggle. trying to get you to understand something. And then I, then I heard how the many sealed mark out of every see he look look what he said he said not his bond service of the God of the Lord okay God upon the foreheads upon their foreheads and then I heard many were sealed out of every tribe of the sons of Israel Israel you remember Jacob Jacob was he said your name is no longer Jacob it's Israel and the say Jehovah Witnesses. Okay. There were 144,000. Now, everybody in Jehovah Witnesses should, should, should read this, 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 or any other EIV, King James, Amplified Version. Okay. Is you there? Okay. The 12,000 were sealed. Uh, look, seal, marked. Seal is a, you remember I told you, proof. He, he, he's on, he's giving you ownership. Out of the tribe of Judah, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. Out of the tribe of God, okay? 12,000, okay? Out of the tribe of Asher, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Nephtali, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Manassas, 12,000. Out of the tribe of Simon, 12,000. Okay? Out of the tribe, 12,000. Okay? Out of the tribe of Zubalim, 12,000. Levi, 12,000. Issachar, 12,000. Joseph, 12,000. Out of Benjamin. Okay? So now we got the 12, all these 12 tribes. We missing some, but we're going to talk about that a little later after we get off. We, you know, we, you, you know, you notice some is not in there and some is in there. Okay. But um, when you go to Genesis and we're going to tell you, we're going to give you some theories when I leave this, this reading. But there's the 12, that's 144,000. Okay. And then there's another vision now. He said, and after this, I looked and a vast host appeared, which no one could count. Uh oh, yeah, this is out of the tribulation, bro. Out of the tribulation. Out of the tribulation. No one could count. After all this destruction that's getting ready to happen, he's getting ready to show you all this killing. And uh, he said, no one can count. Gathered out of every nation, from all tribes, people, and languages, out of all tribes, out of all people, out of all languages. So if you think just the United States is going to be saved, if you think only you're going to be saved, if you think no Africans are going to be saved, if you think no Arabs are going to be saved, if you think whatever, no Chinese people, no Koreans, you are vastly mistaken. You are a heretic if you're saying that only I 
only the 144,000. No. It's going to show. You see, and I looked. No one could count gathered out of every nation, every nation, from all tribes, from all peoples and languages. These stood before the throne and before the Lamb, Almighty Jesus, okay, the Lamb. They, had, they were attired in white. Your Bible will say white. So if you translate that into the original language, and he, you know, it, it really light. Okay. Robes. They was in robes that were light. You know, under the, you know, I'll give you a white robe. We we speak in the English language. You think it's white, but it's really translated as light. And with palm branches in their hand. And, and John, I think it was 12, 13. You know, you saw Hosanna and they had palm branches in their hand. That, that's a sign of victory. Jesus was in Jerusalem as a sign of victory. Okay. That's victor, victorious. Okay. So with palms, that's where we get a Palm Sunday, you know, in their hands. He said in a loud voice, they cried. Look at what they cried, saying, our salvation. I love this. Our salvation is due to our God. Okay, he said, our, saying, our almighty Jesus, who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb Almighty Jesus, to them we owe our deliverance. And then all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders. Look at it. He said all the angels now. I don't know how many of you stand around the throne. Of the heavenly. I know my brother don't think nobody's in heaven. Okay. <laughs> in the four living creatures. And I can show you, oh boy, we, we can get in. That's another sub. And the four living creatures, they fell prostrate before the throne and worship, worshiped, prostrate. Worship is not saying hallelujah. They fell prostrate and worship the God Almighty Jesus. Amen. So be it. They cried. Okay. Blessing. This is what they were saying when they were on prostrate. Blessing. Glory and majesty, splendor and wisdom, thanks and honor. Oh, it is honor. And power and might be ascribed to our God, Almighty Jesus, to the ages and ages, forever and ever, throughout eternity and eternity. Amen. So be it. Then addressing me, look, he said, then addressing me, see, okay, we got to get understanding. They said, addressing me, one of the elders on the heavenlies, he didn't say no Hades, uh, you know, Sanhedrin, you know, okay? The, the brother never didn't, really didn't read Revelation, okay? He said, who are these? He's talking to John, who's up in heaven, he's spiritually up in heaven, okay? He was snatched up. His body's still in earth somewhere. His body's not there. His brother, his body's still down on earth. Okay. You're snatching the spirit. He said, okay, who are these? And when you don't know, who, who are these? People clothed in long, see these long. Okay. They stand long. Who are these standing these long? These long white, these light or bright or light. Robes. And from where, uh, from where did they come? From where did they come? Okay. And John, <laughs> he said, I replied, sir, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you don't have an answer, that's what people, I keep telling people, when people don't have an answer, they, you know, they look at you and say, you know, you, you know everything, you know. <laughs> Because John didn't have a clue. He said, I, I, I have no idea. You, you just razzle dazzled me. You know, do you remember we're taking a pause between the sixth and the seventh trumpet now? God is showing you a glimpse of his mercy, even in calamity, even in destruction, and billions of people dying. He's showing you his mercy. 
Okay. That's Joel. Joel. Yeah. Okay. He said, he said to me, these are they. He said, these are they that come out of the great tribulation. That's, a, that's another final part. You know, the seven years, you got a three and a half and three and a half. Three and a half, you're going to see what the trumpets and the and the bowls going to do pretty soon. And then they're going to take another part and give you, you know, because they're not in chronological orders. They're going to show you the trumpet and bowls. And they all showed you the seals. They all showed the Antichrist and all that other stuff. Okay. Now, he said, these are, came out of great tribulation. They came out of, come out of the great tribulation persecution and they have washed their robes and made it white, bright lights with the blood of the lamb. You know, people think about it. How can you say, okay, if you wash something in, in blood, it should be red. But see, here we go again. Why the, the spiritual connotation kicks in. Hey, bright. He says this white is really light. Okay? Means light. Blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are now before the very throne of God, Almighty Jesus, and serve him night and day, day and night, in his sanctuary. It's not in Hades, folks. His sanctuary right now is in certain day and night. We're going to read this. We, he, he, we, we out of, you know, Chronological order, a certain day and night in the temple. Your body is temple of the Holy Ghost, but now there's a heavenly temple. <laughs> and he who is sitting upon the throne will protect. He who is sitting on will protect and spread his tabernacle over and shelter he who abides in the Lord. You know, the Psalm 91, you should read it. Take when you do this, read uh read this one. He will protect. This is when you should read Psalms 91 right here. You should put Psalm in Psalm 91 and say, okay, let me read Psalm 9. Shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither. Okay. Neither shall the sun smite, okay, them, nor any scorching heat. The lamb who is, who is in the midst of the throne, see, they keep suing you, lamb, who's Jesus, God, Jesus, okay, the triune God, he's in the midst of the throne, okay? He is in the midst. Well, Darnell, you saying, yeah, he's God. Yeah, he's in the midst of the throne. We'll be their shepherd. Now you should go to Psalms 23 and read with the shepherd. She'll be their shepherd. Now it's over, you know, pretty much. But we haven't gotten to the real good part, how I got there. Psalm 23, you should get to Psalm 23. Okay, Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And he will guide them to the spring of the waters of life. <laughs> and God will wipe away every tear. Okay. Every tear. Every tear from their eye. So all of us have been crying and getting upset. He said he's going to wipe them away. But not now. He got to wait a little long. He got, he got to deal with some folks here on earth who think they more than God. Let, let me stop sharing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for that brief interlude before the seventh seal who introduces the seven trumpets and then, uh, you know, the interlude that just introduces the seven bowls and then that'll be the great, the, you know, the tribulation, the great tribulation to be over. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your understanding. You said, oh, with all getting, get understanding. We thank you. We thank you for your, your, your judgment. Uh, we thank you for your knowledge and your wisdom and understanding again and again and again. 
Now, Father, as we wrap this uh, chapter seven up and we go through once again, uh, you, I'm, I'm going, you know, I know you, you want me to go through once again and give people further revelation of these 144,000 folk who you're going to, these Jews uh, from the tribes of Israel, Jacob, your son, your servant, you promised, gave prophecy to from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that will be the witnesses in these great tribulations that you will seal to the day. You have sealed. Okay, and I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I see, I get happy. I can keep going on and on. But what we want to do, we want to really home in, you know, in chapter six, real quickly. The seven, the seven seals. Look at the, we're gonna look at the six seal. It's only with six in chapter six. So it was when you first you saw the Antichrist, and it was uh, the rise in prominence. Then you there were wars, you know. Then you said famine and economic collapse. And then uh, those were those four horses that you saw. Then you saw death of many unbelievers. And you said death of some believers during that time. Then you saw universal, natural. That's what, you know, church is raptured up now, okay? Then you saw the universal, natural calamities. And then now this the seventh seal there is going to be silence. So, but the sixth seal, we'll deal with the seventh seal next week. But it's really, what, why, why would God do a tribulation? You see, why? This is a God of love. Why would he do that? That's, you know, tribulation means the wrath of God. Okay? It means the wrath of God. Well, why would he? He's love. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, of whoever to believe, but see, he did with unbelievers. He's still trying to, he's still trying to get in that through, you see, no man can count. Billions in his love. So the reason why tribulation is to wake up the unbeliever. Even some of the believers don't believe. The one who say, you don't, you know, come on, they unbelieve. The truth of Jesus. To shake up the nation of Israel. That's a prominent. To wake them up. Wake up, Israel. It's time for you to wake up now. It's time for you to do what you were intent back in Genesis. Your intent. My intent for you. Okay. And to make up the, and now it's going to make up the kingdom. Those three is going to make up the kingdom. Okay. He's getting ready. He's bringing the kingdom together. He, Jesus talked about the kingdom, the millennium age and all of that. He talked about that. The faith of Jesus. No more opportunity after the millennium or those thousand year reign of Jesus. No, after that, you know, devil going to be looking. That's it. It's over. Okay. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. God's wrath will reveal through the seal. God's wrath is revealed through the, these events. To the seal, seven seals, seven trumpets, seven bowls. Okay. Now let's look at these 144 real quickly again. It's in Genesis 144, because I talked about. How do you think about it? In Genesis 49, you know, Jacob slash, and then he was, you know, God dealt with him, and then he wrestled with God, and then he became Israel. But he, see, you ever notice he still kept going back to the name Jacob, 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 Jacob. Let me go uh, try to turn on speed here. Okay. And then you got Reuben. You know, this is his blessings. He blessed, the, the blood. he did a blessing. Probably before he died, he, the, 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 those 12 tribes, it was Reuben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Esau, Esau, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, Benjamin. Those were the 12. You can name one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay? Then you had the tribe that he allotted land to. Okay? In Joshua, chapter, you should read it, chapter 14 through 19. They, they're in the promised land, so he allotted land. Because all this has got some spiritual connotation on and leading up to the to Revelation, uh, the 144. You notice that in the, in the, these are the sons, and then when we get to tribes, you got uh, no Levite in there. Okay, you got Reuben, Simon, Judah, Dan, Nephtali, Gab, uh, Asher, Asher, Issachar, Zuberlin, the two sons of Joseph. Joseph is not in there, and then Levite is not in there because the two sons, like Ephraim and Manasseh, will make up. 
that, that, that was made up that portion in chapters 14 through 19, portions of the land that they allotted. And Benjamin, okay, you still got 12. There were no Levite because the Levites was the priests of God and their allotment was the Lord himself. He said, shoot, they're going to be scattered into those portions and they the, the other folks, like we got the church, you're supposed to take care of. God is their portion of the land, okay? So their church, their portion is to be the priest in the land, okay? So they don't get anything. And then you got Ephraim and Manasseh takes over Joseph's portion. But you still got the 12. You got minus those two, okay? Now, those were the tribe that was allotted. Those are Jews. Okay. And then now we get the 144. Thousand that that we just saw that was sealed in the in, in Revelation in a lot of time, getting ready to come up on us. Those seven, those were Reuben, Simon, Levi, Judah, Manasseh, Nephtali, Gab, Asher, Issachar, Zubalin, Joseph, and Benjamin. Okay, those were the one hundred and forty-four in Revelation seven. Well, who was left out was Ephraim. Was missing. And then who's missing? What? You're going to have a lot of speculation. Some say Ephraim was an idolatrist, so he was left out. And they said, Dan, you know, he. some people are saying he's going to be the, the Antichrist. Those are speculations. Okay, we're going to, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Somebody say, yeah, that those are the you came from. And and I might hold that, I might hold that speculation. But we know that they are into Ezekiel gives even a greater picture of the millennium. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 49 or 48. If you you're gonna see Dan is in that, Dan, the tribe of Dan gonna be in that port that 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 they, their peace. And my friend Ephraim. Those tribes are asserted back and given a portion. Okay. Okay. First of all, those 140 are sealed of God. We're going to remind you, those 144 was the sealed of God. They were sealed. Uh, so they were serving as God. They were sealed of the Lord and they were Jews. You got to remember that. And the brother said, well, you know, you're the true Jew. Okay. I can just tell you, again, I gave you that piece. But they asked John, said, who are they? Now, you got the Jews that's going to be doing the witnessing. Those are the 444. And John said, I don't know. I don't know. Look, he said, you know, sir. Sir, you know. But basically, he was saying, I don't know. Those are the folk who are coming out of great tribulation. Where are the others? The others, the church now. He said, so where's the others in the church? And the same. Boy, you, you, you go back further into chapter, I think it's chapter four, Revelation. We're going to get into that. They are there. They're in heaven with Christ. Okay? They're in heaven with Jesus. Mm. Yahshua. The deeds of the tribulation, the ones under the soul, the souls chapter six under the same. So you say, you better wait till the others get in here. You had the first part, now you're gonna get a second part. They were given white robes. Okay. The one that's under the altar. They were they were they were they were killed for their faith. Remember, after these things. And all you gotta do is even go back to the outpouring of he said we read and in the last chapter, the great day of their wrath. You know, in that chapter six, he said, you remember what he said, when God poured out his wrath, he said, we read in the last chapter, we read the last chapter of six, chapter six, he said, in that great day, their wrath have come and who can stand, okay? And we read from Acts, you should go to Acts 2, 15, through 21, when Peter stand and he quoted from Joel, Joel, it wasn't, that was just a piece. That wasn't the whole full thing. Peter quoted 
some from jo Joel. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Because I can go on and on and on. I got my notes. And I get my notes because when I write my book, like everybody do, when I write my book, we're gonna specify a little thing. I, I just want to my job is just to make you think and meditate on the word. Give you scripture, and especially 144, you need to go back to Genesis, then you need to go to Joshua. And then you need, then go to Revelation, and you're gonna see some people get, and you gotta under, you gotta ask the question: Why is this folk not here? Why was, you know, why was that? You know, you add, and then it'll answer that question for you. It's just simple. God is so good. God is so good. This is good stuff. This is good. I, I love it. See, and I, what I do when I when I teach you guys, when I go go back and read it, I attach. So when I go back in the future. I got that, and then God asked more. He gave me more revelation, more and more. I can, I can. He gave me a lot more than what I, I'm giving you, but for the sake of time. And we know nowadays you guys gotta not don't have a a greatest attention span, but uh, God's people do. Uh, so this is so it makes you hungry for more. You know, you that remnant that God said hungry for. You will be part of rapture when God raptured folk up and. But if he give you a prelude, now we're going, now we're getting ready to hold on to your hat, folks. Chapter eight. He's getting ready to do some damage in chapter eight. And then he's gonna give you a break. You know, chapter eight and nine. And then we're gonna come to any it's gonna it's gonna answer all your questions. Where's Saints? Yeah, who was these? It's gonna answer everything. It should, but if it don't, that means you're still resisting. Or you just haven't gotten, you just got your maturity level is not ready for that kind of revelation okay and sometimes god just close your eyes because he knows your heart he knows your intent and motive for wanting to know okay so he gives you he gives you what you need in the order to bring you along and then you say oh like john said john been with the dwarf for jesus for three and eight years he said he didn't even know what oh, it looked now I give James, and then he asked James, he sent a simple question. He hit, hit James, the apostle, who wrote all of John. He wrote John, one John. He wrote, who wrote, uh, you know, the book of John. He wrote one John, and then he, you know, one and two, three John, and then here he is in Revelation. He said, whoa, when I wrote the book of Revelation, oh, my goodness. And then he said, do you know who these folks are? I said, you know. So you I always tell them, chill. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't hold all this stuff. I mean, you you think you can. Even with the Spirit of God, He just can, He just can give you so much that your your little brain, your your little your little stuff can understand. Without you just flipping out, He understands, and God is good. So we will see you next week with some more. Hold on to your hat. I'm holding on to mine. That's the Christmas. The next week is the Christmas weekend. You know, you get to, you know, okay, we, we get to, uh, I get to, to freak with families again, you know, and, and, and do and do some things and they might bring up the subject. They not brother there, what you're talking about. So I can go say, here we go, my brother. Let's, let's do it again. So we can have a good, conversation, the clarity of some thought, some revelation. Now I'm in the revelation phase of my life on this earth, planet earth. God has given me revelation. And so I don't, I don't, I, nonsense, I'm trying to get away from some of the nonsense of what we hear and what we do, what I do. You know, I'm getting to the stage. I, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I guess say Jesus, he crucified. I'm getting like Paul and the rest of them. I don't have uh in 2024, Lord will, you know, uh you 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 might not, and some of you might stop being my friend because uh, I'm getting away from the nonsense. I'm getting away from the nonsense. Even in the in, in the fellowships, I'm getting away from the nonsense. And about time to you're gonna say, Well, he thinks he's son. No, um, don't. I just get away. 
Little by little, he's getting me away from the noise. I don't have time. So God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face to shine on you. And God give you peace. Let's see you next week. God bless you.